renewing their mind with God's word. So for break thought to happen, for you to break thought into what God wants you to experience, into the things that God wants you to come into, your mind has to line up with Christ consciousness. You've been Christ consciousness. You've been Christ centered. If I'm not Christ centered, I can't connect with the will of God. I can't connect with the plan of God. I can't connect with the purpose of God. I have to be Christ conscious. And Christ consciousness is the key to spiritual boldness. You know, in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, the word of the Lord came to Joshua and said, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you will meditate on it day and night. One of the reasons why God expected Joshua to study and to meditate on his word is to develop God consciousness. Is to develop God consciousness. And when you develop God consciousness, it will empower you to produce the God kind of experience. When you develop God's consciousness, it will empower you to produce exceptional results. People who produce exceptional results have to become God-minded. Those that produce exceptional results, they have to become God-minded. They have to become will of God-minded. They have to become purpose of God-minded. And when you become will of God-minded, that will lay the foundation to break forth. So no matter what you may be dealing with in the natural, you have the foundation of God's word to enforce the will of God. Now, I'd like us to look at Luke Gospel, chapter 5. So Luke Gospel, chapter 5, we're teaching on break thoughts. Hallelujah. God wants us to succeed with our calling, with our purpose, with the vision he has entrusted to our care. God wants us to succeed. God wants us to excel. God wants us to make progress. God wants us to see increase on every side. What it has to do with your business, it has to do with your calling. God wants you to excel. He wants you to break forth. He wants you to comfort. He wants you to excel in the things he has called you to do. Now, in Luke Gospel chapter 5, I read verse 1, he said, And it came to pass as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God. This is always the key when it comes to laying the foundation for breaking forth. If you want to break forth into dimensions that God wants you to experience his will, his plan, and his purpose, there must be this hunger for his word. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20, he said, my son, attend to my word. You know why he's saying attend to his word? Because attending to his word will help you cultivate the capacity to produce the God kind of result. When you begin to attend to the word, there is a, a mental liberation. There is an empowerment that happens in your spirit when you begin to attend to the word. Why? Because revelation knowledge is the foundation for strong faith. I want to say that again. Revelation knowledge of God's word is the foundation for strong faith. In Romans 10, 17, he said, so then the faith comes by hearing. How does faith come? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. If I don't consistently listen to God's word, I won't have what it takes to manifest the will of God. The people who manifest the will of God must have a progressive revelation of God's word. If you're going to manifest the will of God, if you're going to walk in authority, if you're going to walk in boldness, you must have a progressive revelation, a progressive light of the word. You know, like the scripture established in Psalm 23 said, the Lord is my shepherd. This is the construction of David. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. He said, I shall not want. For David to arrive at this conclusion that the Lord is my shepherd is because there are series of encounters that proceed out of God's word that made, David, that made David to see God as his shepherd. And because he's his shepherd, he absolutely trusted him. He depends on him. He relies on him. So when you begin to have a progressive revelation of the goodness of God, it will empower you to break forth. It will empower you to rely on God, to empower you to depend on God. There are a lot of people who are allowing the things they are going through to create distraction for them.
But instead of allowing what you're going through to create an extraction, what you should be doing is to be spending time believing what God's word has said. It is to spend time acting in the direction of God's word is to spend time to move in the direction of his will by meditating on God's word. Something happens when we meditate on the word of God. There is something that happens when we begin to meditate on God's word, when we begin to study God's word, when we begin to seek God's word as our final authority. And the purpose of meditating on God's word is to equip your faith for supernatural result. You can't come into supernatural result without equipping yourself with God's word. So here we read the scripture said, it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, every transformation begins with attending to the word. Every transformation, whether it has to do with healing, it has to do with finances, it has to do with deliverance, it has to do with restoration, it has to do with wholeness, it has to do with you moving to the, to the level that God wants to get into. It begins with attending to his word. You know, it is what God's word has said that we're expected to believe. That is what we're expected to act on. That is what we're expected to do. If I'm going to experience a breakthrough, I need to become word of God minded by being rooted in the knowledge of the will of God. I have to become word of God minded that no matter the reports I see in the natural, I believe God. No matter what his circumstances may be, I believe God. You know, the Bible said, and Abraham believed God, it was counted for him for righteousness. You see, when you believe God, you create an atmosphere of the miraculous. One of the keys to the miraculous is by believing God, by believing his word, that no matter what is happening, Lord, I trust your word. No matter what is going on, Lord, I trust your word. No matter what is happening, Lord, I believe your word. And because you believe his word, that word have the capacity to transform you, to equip you, to empower you, to produce uncommon results. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is life-changing. The word of God contains the wisdom that can transform you. The wisdom that can enable you. The wisdom that can empower you. The word of God has the transforming capacity that will help you make progress in purpose, make progress in the will of God, and make progress in the things that God has called you to do. So breakthrough begins when our mind is renewed with God's word. And there are certain thoughts pattern that we have to begin to resist. We have to begin to break certain thought pattern. Thought pattern like the enemy is the one responsible for my failure, for my struggle. If a person have that kind of thought pattern, always they think that the enemy is more powerful, the enemy is more superior. Such a thought pattern has a way of making a believer captive to what he or she ought to lead or ought to break free from or ought to exercise authority over. So if I continue to have this mindset, oh, the reason why this is not working is because of this or because of that. No, listen. Make God's word your final authority. That is how you enforce the will of God. Make God's word your final authority. That is how you enforce the will of God. How you enforce God's will is by making God's word your final authority. That no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're facing, no matter what is happening around you, you make the word of God your final authority. And when God's word becomes your final authority, it decides your decision. It decides your action. It also decides your expectation. It will also decide your conversation. The word of God is full of supernatural energy, has supernatural capacity to empower you to produce unlimited possibilities. God's word is powerful. God's word is powerful. So if I want to see supernatural transformation, if I want to see supernatural change, the first step is to start attending to the word. It will make my mind to become sensitive towards the will of God. It will make me to become sensitive towards God's ways of doing things. Because the condition of your mind or my mind will determine what I can believe, what I can receive, and what I can do. And that was why Paul was writing. He said, let this mind be in you that is in Christ Jesus. 
The mind of Christ is the mind of dominion. He said, let this mind be in you that is in Christ Jesus. If you're truly going to reign in life, if you're truly going to excel in life, you have to become word of God-minded. And this is one of the keys to breaking forth in purpose, to breaking forth in understanding, to breaking forth in strength, to become word of God-minded. And how do I become word of God minded? By beholding what Jesus has done for me. I said, you become word of God minded by beholding what Jesus has done for you. You become word of God minded by beholding what Jesus has done for you. What has Jesus done for you? Hebrew chapter 12, verse 2 said, looking unto Jesus. Wow. He said, looking unto Jesus, this is the perfect picture when it comes to true transformation. This is the perfect picture when it comes to unlocking divine inspiration. This is the perfect picture when it comes to having conversations that has potential to break limitation. He said, looking unto Jesus, it means looking unto the word of God, that you magnify God's word above how you feel, you magnify God's word above what is happening around you, you magnify God's word above the circumstances that surround you as a person. It's a looking unto Jesus. So no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what is happening, get into the word of God and start unlocking the wisdom of God that will help you see, that will help you know that will help you come into understanding that will produce uncommon results. You know, God's word is powerful. You know, God's word contains supernatural wisdom that will enable you to enforce the will of God, that will enable you to excel in life. You know, God's word is very powerful. And I often say to people, no matter what you're dealing with, you already have an answer in God's word. If you attend to the word of God, he will show you what to do. He will show you where to go. He will show you how to function. And that is why in Matthew chapter 4, Jesus said to Satan, it is written. You know, when you know what is written, it produces a confidence to approach situations. When you know what is written, he said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Man shall not live by bread alone. The word of God contains the liberating capacity. No matter what you're dealing with, no matter what the situation is in the natural, the word of God works. The word of God works. No matter how you feel, no matter what you're dealing with, break forth is possible. Moving out of this level to the next level of your life is possible. Moving from this level to a greater level is possible. And all you need to do is to start renewing your mind in the knowledge of the goodness of God. Renewing your mind in the knowledge of God's goodness. You know, there are a lot of people that don't believe that God is a good God. When things go wrong in their life, say, oh, maybe the Lord is trying to get me for the last sin I committed. Or maybe the Lord is trying to get at me because of what happened many years ago. Let me say this to you. God is not trying to get at you. And that is never his goal. His goal is to be a father to you, not to be a tormentor to you. God's goal is not to torment you, to hurt you, to injure you. That is not the will of God. God is far from that. And a lot of people have a very poor presentation and representation of God, of Christ. They have a very poor representation of God and they make it look like God is the reason why I'm going through this hardship because I didn't do this. God is never the reason why people go through hardship, but God will be the reason why they will come out of hardship. God is not the reason why people become sick, but God will be the reason why they will be healed, they will be delivered, and their body will be sound. So when you have the progressive revelation of the will of God, it will empower you to unlock the purpose of God. And I say this to you, the word of God is full of supernatural wisdom that can help you to move in the direction of supernatural possibilities. God's word is powerful. You take that word into your heart. So for we to break forth, we need to trust in God's word. Now, let's look at uh, Luke Gospel chapter 5, verse 2. He said, and two of the ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them, and they were washing their nets. 
The fishermen men were gone out of them and they were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ship, which was Simon, and prayed him that he would toss out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Verse 4 said, Now when he had left speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep. He said to Simon, Launch out into the deep. You know, one of the keys to moving forward and making progress is following divine instructions. If you are going to break forth, you must learn to follow divine instruction. You must learn to follow divine instruction. If you're going to break forth, if you're going to go forth, if you're going to see supernatural miracle, you must learn to receive divine instructions. God's instruction has the capacity to transform your thinking, to empower you to move in the direction of supernatural results. And here he said, look at this scripture, Luke chapter 5, verse 4. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. Launch into the deep. You see, one of the keys to moving forward is to know what God's word is saying. If you want to move forward, you need to know what the word of God is saying. That no matter what you're going through, no matter what the situation may be right now, you need to know what God's word is saying and make the word of God your final authority. Those who reign in life will reign by the knowledge of the grace of God and its application. I said those who reign in life will reign by the knowledge of God's grace and its application. You need to know that you're saved by grace and you're expected to live by grace. And what does that mean? Absolute dependence on God, learning to rely on God, learning to trust in his word, learning to respond to his leadership, learning to respond to his spirit. And that's where you break forth. We break forth by following divine instruction. God said, do this. You know, the flesh is telling you, no, don't do that. Look at your finances. Oh, forgive her. No, the flesh is telling you, don't forgive her. Look at what she did to you. Oh, forgive him. No, the flesh is saying, don't forgive him. Look at what he did to you. Every time you ignore an instruction from God, you make it hard and difficult for yourself to break into the dimension that God has already prepared for you. Following God's instruction is not for God's advantage. It's for the advantage of the person who is following the instruction. There are many people that want God to show up in their lives, but they're not willing to follow his instruction. They're not willing to follow his instruction. We break forth by divine instruction. I want to say that again. I said we break forth by divine instruction, and God will give you instructions in this season. My prayer is that when you hear, you will obey. When you hear, you will receive. When you hear, you believe. And when you hear, you will act on God's word. I pray for you that in this season, the voice of God will come alive in your spirit. The voice of God will come alive in you. The voice of God will equip you to produce unlimited results. It is by the spirit we connect with the will of God. The word of God comes alive by the help of the Holy Spirit. And you believe that word and you begin to act on that word and you trust God and you know that the word of God is powerful, that the word of God is life-changing. God's word is life-changing. God's word is powerful. God's word has the capacity to empower you to produce unlimited results. The word works. The word works. So God will give you an instruction and obedience will open the door for the manifestation. He will give you an instruction. Sometimes God will tell us something, I don't want to do that. That's not convenient for me. Listen, it may not be convenient for you, but that is your way out. It may not be convenient for you, but that is how you break forth. God doesn't tell us to do things that are convenient. He tells us to do things that will make us rely on him, trust in him, depend on him, and believe him to help us do it. God will never give you an instruction that you won't have a need for him in carrying it out. Every instruction that God gives to you, he wants you to trust him to help you carry out that instruction. Every instruction. And in this season, the key to breaking forth is to hear, is to believe, and is to do. You hear what God is saying, you believe it, you act on it. You hear what God is saying, you believe it, you act on it. You hear what God is saying, you believe it, you act on it. 
And that is how you're going to break forth. Father, we thank you. And now listen, before I conclude, the ministry of the Holy Spirit, Romans 8, 14, he said, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, one of the keys to breaking forth is to rely on the ministry of the Spirit. Sweet Holy Spirit, show me what to do. Show me how to function. Show me how to guide others. And when you depend on the Spirit, you will unlock the counsel of God. You will unlock the will of God. And it will empower you to produce unlimited results. I pray for you today that you will hear the voice of God you will follow the grace of God and your life will never remain the same. Father, we thank you for the service. Thank you for the word we have heard. Thank you for the things you're doing in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Now, I want to encourage us to let us pray about the offerings. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to give our offerings and our tithes. Thank you for being the source of our increase in the name of Jesus. You're able to make all grace abound to us all that we are always having. In Jesus' name, amen. Can we are giving by going to finish on tv.com slash giving. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You can get our books by going to amazon.com. There is greatness in you and 40 things you need to know about your future. And also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, It's Redman Teachings on YouTube. We'll meet here every Wednesday and every Thursday. The time is 6 p.m. 6 a.m. Sorry, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 5 a.m. Central Time. I pray that in this season, God will help you break forth into new dimension to experience unlimited possibilities. May God bless you and keep you going. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.